Everyone willing to comply with the orders to shut down. Let's go to ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens. And Jared, some gym owners say that they plan to stay open anyway. Yeah, Jim, the owner of this gym, Boulevard Fitness, says he's shutting down today, but that's just to do a good deep cleaning. He's then going to reopen those doors tomorrow at 6 a.m., violating Governor Newsom's shutdown orders. He tells 10 News this is a matter of survival. I took a huge financial hit in May. Um, money out of my pocket that's never coming back. Um, we have bills to pay. We have rent to pay. That's Sean Gilbert, and he says he and six other gym owners have hired a lawyer to fight any fines they get for staying open. He calls this new round of restrictions, quote, criminal. Gilbert believes he can operate his gym safely by following mask and social distancing guidelines because it's a large open space with high ceilings. He also plans to move some of his equipment outside. We've seen this before with a handful of gyms that fought the last shutdown. But business owners who are found to violate this order could face jail time or stiff fines or even both. And the county says they have a task force from the state as well as their own employees and law enforcement that will be enforcing those rules. Live in University Heights, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.